Now, October 31st, 1984 changed India's history in a manner no one would have imagined. Indira Gandhi was gunned down by her own bodyguards, Bain Singh and Satwan Singh, for having ordered the army operation at the holiest of Sikh shrines, the Golden Temple. Jyoti Kamal meets the families of the two assassins and finds mixed feelings. October 31st, 1984, Prime Minister Indira Gandhi gunned down by her two Sikh bodyguards, Bian Singh and Satwan Singh. An act of revenge for Operation Blue Star, ordered by Mrs. Gandhi to flush out Khalistani terrorists from the Golden Temple. Now, 25 years later, Bian's family remembers how Blue Star changed Bian's loyalty. He saw the temple and was shaken. It was an independent step of Satwan Singh, Kahar Singh and our father. They had no support from any group or organization. That they had no orders or support from anyone is confirmed by the family of the other assassin, Satwan Singh. The decision to assassinate Indira Gandhi was spontaneous and theirs alone. And 25 years later, the families are still proud of them. My son was born to do the job. I am proud of him. He made our head and my womb honorable. A pride shared by Satwan's fiance, who even married his photograph. She stayed here with us for 13 years, where we light a lamp in memory of my son and we also light a lamp for her. Both families are still held in high regard by some in the Sikh community. Building on his father's martyr, Bian's son Sarabjit has so far contested two elections. In 1991, Bian's widow Bimal even won an election and sat in parliament opposite Indira's son Rajiv Gandhi. Democracy is good. That is why my mother was elected by the votes and support of people and was sent to parliament and she sat opposite where Rajiv Gandhi used to sit. It's been 25 years since the assassination of Indira Gandhi by her own bodyguards Bian Singh and Satwan Singh. Life instantly turned into a nightmarish roller coaster for the families. Even as they try and balance the rights and wrongs, the dream of a life that could have been ordinary and happy had it not been shattered by the clash of ideologies. With Jasbir Singh, in Maloya, Jyoti Kamal.